Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm super excited today to share a project with you for Whimsy Stamps. I've been invited to be part, um, a guest designer for them and I chose this cute little stamp set. I know Halloween's around the corner, but this little stamp set's cute. It's, it's called Candy Corn Dress Up and it has six candy corns that are dressed up on little Halloween characters. <laughs> So stinking adorable. Oh my goodness. You have a witch. You have um, like Dracula. You have a little unicorn. Um, and then I thought they would go perfect inside this die set. This is one of those die sets that you'll use over and over again. It's called Selfie. And it has four photo frames, different sizes. And then it has um, three different, no, four different sentiments that you can add to any project you'd like. We're going to make a Halloween trick-or-treat card, so I'm not going to use them, but there's also a phone in there. So one of those I said you can use over and over again. I'll list it down below. Um, if you guys are new and have want to know more about Wednesday stamps, I'll list everything I'm using today down below and you can check out their shop. But out of the four, I think I'm going to be using the second largest one. I think it's the, the perfect size for these little critters. And I tell you, these little candy corns, or just will just make you smile. I mean, who would have thought that you would dress up candy corn? <laughs> Let's do some stamping. So I have my stamp here. I'm going to bring in my Misty, my stamping positioner. I'm going to color in my images with my alcohol, um, my alcohol markers, or my Copic markers. And so we're going to stamp with a Mem uh, Memento Tuxedo Black ink. That's my go-to ink whenever I use Copics. Um, but look how cute she's she's holding a little purse i mean <laughs> i can't get any cuter than that mrs frankenstein is holding a purse i just think that's so adorable i'm going to choose three of these guys two would be ideal but these are so cute i got to use three so i have the mummy i have the witch and then i have frankenstein i'll just ink these up with my memento ink and scoot this guy over a bit and then we're going to color in these images again with my copic markers i left the coloring in um, I always leave the caps out, but camera is not, gets blurry. I don't know how to fix that. I'm a rookie when it comes to that stuff, but I did list it up in the top right hand corner for you guys. But I will play some music while I color, and then when I am done coloring, I will get you back.
Okay, coloring is almost done. I'm just finishing up. I ran out of music. So um, I did go outside the lines on the hair a little bit. So I used my white gel pen to clean that little messy up. So they look so super cute. I'm going to go ahead and use my scissors and we're going to fussy cut around these guys. Um, if there is a coordinating die set, I'll list it down below. But I don't mind fussy cutting. I think it's pretty easy to go around these guys. So here they are. And I love their hands and their legs, and I think it's going to go perfect hanging outside of my little um, photo frames. Now, I need a background for my photo frames, and I kind of wanted it to be a night sky. So I have some blue cardstock. This is the easiest way to make night skies, guys. Um, I'm going to go around the edges with my Salty Ocean, Ocean Distress Oxide Ink. And just using my blendy brush. I'm not even going to ink up the middle. I like the highlight that it gives, um, especially with the colored cardstock. This I've only used blue when I do this. I haven't tried any other colors, but this makes the perfect night sky. Now I couldn't, for the life of me, find my black soot distress oxide ink. I probably have it in the drawer where I shouldn't have it. <laughs> um, so instead, I'm just using my Memento ink. I'm inking it up with my blending brush, and it worked just as well. I'm going around the edges, darkening up. Um, my corners basically kind of creating an oval or a circle shape now once I'm done with this I do want to add a little sparkle so I have the spray bottle of perfect pearls mist and we're gonna shake it up really good and add some sparkle in our background I was gonna take the cap off and do heavy droplets I wasn't sure if my bottle was clogged or not but it wasn't clogged so we're good to go we're gonna do a few sprays let the ink oxidize a bit and let it dry and we have some nice sparkly subtly sparkly background okay those are good to go I'm gonna go ahead and take my dye and some white cardstock we need three of these photo frames and so we'll die I think I need two panels I, I don't think three would fit on one so after these are die cut I think it's going to look really neat in the background. Um, we are going to start by taking our critters and arranging them on our photo frame first. And then we're going to flip it around and then add foam tape behind it. It's easier to do this first because you want them um, on the same layer. So we'll do a little tucking and taping. And this guy is cute, Frankenstein. <laughs> he even has those little neck things. I just thought that was so cute. Um, and then I'll take my little witch, and then I'll also take my little mummy. The mummy worked out great because he had um, one hand holding up, so it looks like he's actually dangling from the top of the frame. I thought it was cute. I'm just removing the release paper, and we're going to add our, our images to our background. I kind of want to make sure that it's as if the... the the shadow behind is kind of glowing so I didn't want to put it right in the center so I'm kind of off centering it we'll add our little mummy here we should flip it around a bit and then once I'm happy since these panels are a little bit larger than my photo frames I'm, I just stuck them down and I thought it would be easier just to trim around them while they're while they're glued so we have some dimensional photo frames with some cute little guys in here. <laughs> okay, this would make a good slimline card to you guys. Okay, I have my sentiment and I would just want to make sure that I had some foam tape on the bottom because I want to stamp trick or treat on one of the bottom of the photo frames. And so if I have a full piece of foam tape, it's not going to... Um, I can get a great impression actually. So I thought for my background, instead of keeping it white, we'll bring in some green striped paper. I just trimmed down this to a four inch by five and a quarter inch panel. We're gonna put this in the center of our card base. So we have some green stripes here. Um, we don't have too much green in our images, but with the green that we had, I think it's gonna really stand out with that green background. I stamped trick or treat. And now we're just kind of going to wonky them, all three, on our card front so they fit lovely. Um, I'll glue them down and then my last one, I have to double up on the foam tape because it's on top of my second frame here. But I just, it's whimsical and it's fun and it's pretty easy to create. I just love these. 
So after we have this done, we need some bells and whistles. So I have some stars, iridescent stars in my stash. I'm gonna add a few. And then I'm also gonna bring in a little bit of sparkle using my diamond stickles. My diamond stickles, I thought it'd be fun to go over the green areas, sparkling them up. So the witch's hat has a little bit of green on the, the band there. And then I have the Frankenstein's hair. We'll color this in with some sparkle. And then the feet of our mummy are green. And I'm gonna add a little sparkle to the face of the pumpkin um, that he's holding. Last but not least, I'm gonna highlight my little candy corns and then that will finish my project today for Whimsy Stamps, guys. If you haven't had a chance, they have some really fun images, um, really fun dies and stamp sets over there. And I'll list it at the shop if you guys wanna take a look. But I'm super excited to be a guest designer. I'll be creating another project with the stamp set later on in the month. So I look forward to sharing that with you. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Well, we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.